Good morning, guys. We are doing a vlog this time. I am currently making falafel. Uh, we have kind of gotten a little bit behind on the cooking stuff. Summer is currently out with the dog. And, uh, yeah, we have some busy things happening. So, uh, we wanted to document it, I guess. We're going out to all hoops tomorrow. Yes. Had to think about what day it was. Tomorrow is also Valentine's Day. So, Summer, Camera Boy, and I will be going to all hoops. We are going to be having... What are we going to do? Um, I know we're going shopping. Uh, we're also... Uh, GameStop is uh, closing here. So, uh, we are going to GameStop uh, to get if they are having some crazy sales. And when I say crazy, I actually mean crazy. Like, I got a giant Oogie Boogie figure. Like, one of the big ones. One of the massive pop figures. Um, what else? Got a lot of games, all for like cheaper than cheap. <laughs> um, and then Sunday, we're going on a charity walk for something known as Dunas Pescuse. And it is basically a charity organization that takes care of strays and they also help people rehome their pets if they're unable to take care of them. Uh, specifically, it's actually a lot of old people who aren't able to take care of their dogs because they need a lot of exercise and they are old and can't take care of them. Not in like a mean way, just, you know. But I think it's awesome that people seek out help because they're unable to take care of their dog. Funnily enough, we were actually considering reaching out to them for BMO because BMO is a turbo dog and BMO needs a lot of energy or needs to burn out a lot of energy because she is just absolutely insane. She would destroy things. She just, I, th I felt like I wasn't good enough for her because I didn't have the time and the resources to do so. I was also told by a trainer that she was untrainable and that she would be horrible for the rest of her life. And let me tell you something, that trainer was wrong. BMO knows plenty of tricks and plenty of commands, and she is really good. And she's changed a lot. I've changed her routine a lot over the years, trying to make sure she gets the energy and the help she needs to be the, the dog that, you know, she wants to be, rather than being cooped up in, her, in the house all the time. We make sure we take her for long walks. But uh, today we're going to town uh, after I'm done making falafel, which is actually a very long endeavor. And it looks like Bimo's home. I'm just, yeah, you can see her a little bit. Hi, Beam, say hi to the camera. She got her little shoes on. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, probably gonna do some work. We are doing a hair dye, so we're gonna get some color extractor or whatever you want to call it supposed to be nice and safe on the hair not supposed to contain ammonia and all that fun stuff uh, anything else we're doing um, can't think no I also mentioned tomorrow and a little bit about what we're doing tomorrow Oh, and then we're going on a charity walk, like I said. <laughs> Did I get on a whole nother tangent about it? <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll see you guys later. So we like finally made it into town and we're kind of awkwardly huddled in a corner as we like record in H&M. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna go and look at stuff. Oh yeah, we're definitely not weird. Um, nothing exciting. We're gonna go and look at some Valentine's Day stuff in um, Tio. So it's probably the only place we'll find stuff. Valentine's Day is not really a thing here. They make money off of it. It's about it. Yeah. We're out. Camera boy's here. Hi. Whether he wants to be in the camera or not. <laughs> We're walking the dog. I can't switch the camera. But be beep, beep. Hi. Hi. Hey, Lee. We didn't really do much in town. Got we, coffee. Yeah, we got coffee. And uh, we got some color remover. And... Uh, 
So maybe the next time you see us, we won't have, uh, you know, the color hair we do. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely gonna take a big farewell to my green hair that I have had for almost a year. No, I've had green hair for almost a year. Whether it was half green or just fully green, it's been green for a year. And I am ready to move on to another color, which is uh, still a shade of green. But <laughs> it's not dark green, so I guess that works. But uh, yeah, we're out walking the dogs. Then it is dinner time, and then, I don't know, we're gonna do our hair. I'm really excited. Yeah. Really excited. There are people out here, don't worry about it. Um, Summer is here somewhere. Yeah. Dog is <laughs> uh, eating somewhere. Be I don't eat things. Oh, what else? I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out what. We, yeah, otherwise, she'll see us tomorrow. Um, play some video games. Oh, yeah. I'm finally in a part of a video game. I'm playing Skyrim, getting all those achievements. I'm in Soul's Time, and I gotta kill Mirak, which is where I got stuck last time. So I'm gonna get so angry if I get stuck there again. <laughs> but yeah, so we will either see you later or see you tomorrow. Yeah. So? I did my hair, and I actually dig this, like, bubble gum, minty color that is on my hair. Um, okay, bless you. Thank you. I'm trying to log here. Um, yeah, look extra em to make up for the, the hair I don't have. Um. Little Miss Beam's gonna go get babysat uh, at a friend's, and yeah, and we gotta drop off laundry. That's it so far. But my eyeliner looks good. <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll see you. <laughs> we made it to Ohms. Finally. I know, I was had a headache in the car, and, and oh, it was basically, I don't wanna get out, like we're standing in the way of uh, People driving, it's okay. Do not get any license plates in this. It's gonna be so hard to edit out. Oh, yeah. um, we gotta go to GameStop because GameStop's closing. So we're gonna show all of like how that like you should just see. It looks like a <laughs> catastrophic mess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna go to H and M. Camboy's carrying a camera. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what else are we doing? We're getting Starbucks, Starbucks. The important stuff here. So yeah, let's go. Summer's in the back seat. I am. Um, we couldn't really record much. There wasn't a lot. Denmark's not exactly open to the idea of having people film, uh, which is fine. I respect people's privacy. I respect the business and whatever. So you didn't really get to see much in all and that's fine. We're currently going to go and give BMO right here a bath. Cameron Boy's on his way. He's right there. He's getting in the car. Had to bring Miss Lady her shoes. Yes, please. And, uh... It's free bath day over in uh, Pet World, so we're gonna go and give her a bath. Then we need to go to Max's Zoo, and then we've got our walk tomorrow, so you'll definitely join us for that. Going to the gym Saturday, gym day. Yep, and that's it. That's it. You drive. <laughs> It's in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Vi ses igen meget snart. Så er du... Nej, nu skal jeg den her på først. She does not look impressed. I am wet dog mom. fun adventure yeah she does not like baths no Night. Night. Hi guys. it is now the next day BMO has had her her breakfast we're being hit with storm Dennis and if you don't know what that is it is a giant cyclone in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean not in the middle of it anymore um, I think it actually made land in Iceland and uh, we are being impacted so we're gonna go and go to the walk and see if it's there, but I'm pretty sure it will not happen due to the weather, but still want to show up, still want to show our support. Weather doesn't usually stop me from doing much. Not that Danish. I do go outside in the rain. And Bimo thinks there's more food. There's like one pebble left. Ah. So we will go and uh, see what they have to say. What do you think? Hopefully we just get a little diploma anyways. <laughs> we paid. I want the diploma. Um, still for a good cause, but I just want the diploma to be like, yay, look at us. We did something. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the cyclone's supposed to move up towards Norway now, and I'm not looking forward to whatever that's going to happen to us. I have school tomorrow, so. <laughs> I mean, it'll be like last week when you see this, but still. Hopefully nobody dies. <laughs> and yeah, we'll let you know if the walk works out or not. Otherwise, uh, you'll see some walk bits of us in the flipping rain. So, we got, we did go on the trip, we walked three kilometers instead of five, but you know what, still for a great cause. We got a goodie bag full of things from Maxi Zoo. I will promote them because they do good things. And we got a diploma with BMO's name on it and how much they donated in our money. We paid 40, so on top of that they donated 10 to Junus Pascusa. So she have a look what Bimo got. So we just put in that her name was Bimo and they needed her race. And we put a, a blending. That's what she is. She's a mix. So, and the bags were a little specific. So we got something known as Real Nature Adult with potato. Oh, right, right, right. There is an English section here. Adult veal hearts and chicken with potato and herbs with no added anything. Four... Dogs between the age of 11 to 24 months. <laughs> well, a lot of people think Bimo is a, a, a puppy. Yeah, so it doesn't surprise me. We've got something known as Derma Comfort from Royal Canon, which is actually the brand that Bimo eats, so. But not this, her urinary food, which is with meat and animal byproducts. They put a little sticker on it to put Danish because. Well, I don't feel like reading out all the animal byproduct and sh crap like that. Got a balloon with Maxi Sue on it. <laughs> I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Yeah. Definitely. And it's in the shape of a heart. Yep. It just makes it even better. <laughs> Got a pamphlet about real nature and their foods, I assume. Yep. Also, uh, feeding your dog um, raw food. That's also quite common here. We have a brand called Barf which is literally just 
raw food. Yeah. Um, got some hum hum. Pull myself up some bit. Some Doug, doggy poo bags. What else we get here? We got a super chomp cutlet chew snack little thingy majog. I was gonna say jiggle, jiggle thing. I don't remember what I was gonna call it. There it is. Ha ha! There it is. Uh, ha -ha. So I don't have to sit and translate at the same No, that was. <laughs> no, there's no English section. That's so it's uh, corn, meat, uh, corn and meat and vegetables and. Uh, yeah, it's made in Germany. Um, which isn't like. Something I care about. No, I love oh, them. I found it. Complimentary pet food for dogs. Compositions. Cereal, meat, animal derivatives, derivatives of vegetable origin, vegetable origin and extracts. Yeah. But a lot of products in Maxisu, at least here, are German. So most things is in German, so we have to like, oh, look at the back. Like this one, if you look right at the bottom, if I can get it to focus, yeah, it's all in a whole other language. Yeah. And then on the back, it's got um, Danish somewhere. Yeah, Swedish, Danish, Norwegian, all mixed into one. Oh, I same. hate that. Same. I can't half the time read that. Um, this is some support stuff. Yeah. Ah, there's Danish up here, I think. Nope, Danish, Norwegian, Swedish, Norwegian. Um, yeah, it's for support Stop. and movement, so I assume joints. Yeah, joints. Yeah. Should have looked at the picture. Don't know that brand, but it's not a bad brand, I assume. Royal Cannon again, or canine, mm -hmm. or whatever, which is for joint care. This one is actually for Maxi, which is from 26 to 44 kilos. And we got one more thing, which I'm going to start laughing in a second. <laughs> For mini dogs, BMO is almost 20 kilos. Her healthy weight is 18, but she wavers between 18 and 20, which is not bad. This is for satisfies a fussy appetite. Yeah, so uh, well, we're definitely gonna give all these to uh, Care Boys parents or whoever we know. I think your mom can have some too. Yeah. I don't wanna, uh, for the one that's for 20, this one, yeah. for joint care, that'd be good. Um, yeah, but we just wanted to show that. Oh, and she had and a, there was this oh, little cup, cup, yeah. With different measurements and such. Where's the band? Uh, I can go find it. When we got there, we uh, got like a tag thingy that you had to, uh, have to, should put on your dog. And, uh, it was just what it's called, which is the Valentine's Day walk, walk 2020, and then the Dunas Biscuits. All right, if you don't focus, we're gonna have issues. Just put it over my eyes. Oh, we'll focus. There we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so those will be kept. Bimo's little diploma will be kept. Oh yeah. But yeah, and then we'll give all these foods that she can't have a good home. And next time, I think we'll write down her weight. <laughs> They do these walks two to three times a year from what I know, so we're definitely going to participate in the future. We'll definitely document. If it had not been pouring down, yeah. I would have recorded it. There were so many cute dogs, mm -hmm. and you know everybody was okay with being on camera and stuff because it was a re usually a recorded event. Usually yeah. it's on the news. Usually it's everywhere. So everybody had signed consent to be online in any yeah. form of way. So... But it was raining and I didn't want to get anything wet. Yeah. Otherwise, I also would have had to put my good camera with. And then I went shopping and uh, got Bimo a chew toy. <laughs> also German. <Yeah. laughs> I just wanted to point that out that it's also in German right there and right there. Um, it's quite small, but I'm hoping like if I dip her food in it or like, you know, put her food around it and melt, I don't care. I'm going to figure it out to get her to chew because yeah. she's got some teeth issues and she can't have like normal teeth Yeah, she can't things. have dental sticks and such because, you know. Magnesium? Yeah. Um, and then we got some... Salmon oil. Salmon oil, of course, because Bima doesn't get a winter coat. <sighs> and it's good for dry skin. Oh yeah, and she's got dry skin galore. Anyways, that might be it for this vlog, so yeah. we'll... See you guys next time we do a vlog. Or in the next video. Yeah, yeah see you nice. next week. <laughs>